Hi everyone! It's been a long time since the last rubric about microscopes. So it's time to fix it. Recently I got such a model of a microscope from the company Leeuwenhoek. It is called Leeuwenhoek Discovery and position itself as a digital pocket microscope. Of the main features of this model of microscope, we can emphasize its optical magnification from 10 to 300 times and digital magnification from 10 to 1200 times. In general, since this microscope is a pocket one, I decided to test it, so to speak, in the field. I went to the lake outside the city where I saw swimming ducks and some fishermen. When I went down to the shore of this lake, I saw just such a fish bone, and I'm already filming it with this microscope. In general, the shore of this lake was sandy, and under magnification with this microscope, the sand of this shore looks like this. On the shore next to me, I found a lid from some kind of drink, which contained water, sand and some kind of plant. Of course, the smallest organisms cannot be seen through such a microscope. Also, a little later I will still try to study some living organisms with the help of such a microscope. Even with such a microscope, it is convenient to go to the supermarket where you can easily check any fruit or vegetable for mold or other microorganisms. Well, if you consider an orange under magnification, then the orange pill will look like this. This glare can be removed by using a special polarizing filter, which is already pre-installed in this microscope. Here is just clearly visible micromold. I didn't even notice it with the naked eye. I also decided to check the surface of an apple under the same microscope. And this is how the tail of this apple looks like, on the cut of which mold is also visible. And this is what the surface of the apple looks like. I have always been interested in looking at the surface of a kiwi under a microscope. This is how the cut of the fruit stem looks like. And apparently this kiwi was plugged a very long time ago. Well, the shaggy surface of the kiwi itself looks like this. To me it looks really unusual. Further, no matter how strange it may sound, I decided to examine cucumber pimples under a microscope. The cucumber stem looks like this. Well, the pimples looked like real volcanoes. Next, I decided to consider an ordinary sweet yellow pepper, on the stalk of which I also found a small mold. Well, now do not be surprised if you bought some fruits or vegetables and the next day they became moldy. I also decided to check the surface of this red tomato. Firstly, the same mold was on the stock, and if such tomatoes are stored in a bag close to each other in warmth, then the next day they will definitely be covered with mold. With the magnification of the surface of a tomato, cells are visible on it. Next, I decided to examine just such a small champignon. In fact, I have been interested in microscopes for a very long time, since my school biology lessons. That is why I pay close attention to some new magnifying technology, and those who have long been subscribed to our channel probably remember the episodes about the coolest telescope or microscope that costs $1000. But its only problem is the lack of mobility, or limited mobility due to the fact that this microscope must be placed on a flat surface and look for the sun which cannot be said about this mobile version of the microscope. I think many of you remember these three reds, and these are the same reds that were filmed in the issue with a scorpion, a crab and other insects. I even think that I became friends with them. In fact, you can watch these cute reds for ages. But now is not about that. In general, having such a mobile microscope, I had the idea to look at these reds under a microscope. Thank you. 
This is what the fur of this rat looks like. This is what the fur of this rat looks like. And this is the finger of the front paw of a rat. This is what a rat's tail looks like with a slight increase. This is a bigger increase. I hope this video was interesting for you. And if this is true, then be sure to like the video. Also write in the comments what else you can see with such a microscope. Well, if you suddenly want the same microscope for yourself, then I will leave a link in the description. You can see and study the world around you indefinitely. So let's study it together. That's all I have for now. Bye, everyone.